Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer the question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we've got... Hudson. And? Antonio. Okay. <laughs> Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Thomas Jefferson from our website. Now, we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Blue slime. Clam chowder. Fish eggs in a tube. Pickle juice spray. Preserved duck eggs. Snails. Mystery eggs. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Before we play, Thomas Jefferson was the third president of the United States. As a founding father, he was the main author of the Declaration of Independence. As president, Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Territory from France, doubling the size of the United States. This became known as the Louisiana Purchase. He was a member of the Democratic Republican Party and helped make America a free and powerful nation. Hudson, are you ready to play the game? I am. Antonio, are you ready to play the game? Yeah. Then gentlemen, it's time to play the game. The youngest player goes first. Everybody, get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take your hands out of the bowl for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. Then let's get going. Question number one for Hudson. Jefferson's father was a successful planter who left him some land in Virginia after his death. What was the name of Jefferson's home there? I don't know. Oh, let's see if Antonio can steal it. Antonio. Jefferson's father was a successful planter who left him some land in Virginia after his death. What was the name of Jefferson's home there? Monticello. That is correct, Monticello. Thomas Jefferson designed his home on a peak atop the Southwest Mountains in Virginia. The estate was named Monticello, which is Italian for Little Mountain. That means Hudson, the first mess is for you. Oh no! Oh, you know, I think we should start with some nice clam chowder. Ooh. Do you want to take a little smell? See what Hudson's going to get? It actually smells, it smells like pasta. Pasta? Can I smell? I suddenly never want pasta again. It smells like pasta. It smells like tuna. Tuna? Do you want to smell like tuna? No. Well, I'm sorry, because you're going to smell like clam chowder. That's close enough to tuna. That's why I wash my hands. Oh. Oh, oh. my gosh. Ew. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go ahead and mix that up just a little bit. Make sure, you know, that is get the full effects. <laughs> There's nothing else coming oh. out of it. <laughs> Your hands are looking a little clammy. You feeling all right there? They're cold. Second question goes to Antonio. Question number two. As a Renaissance man, which means a man of many talents, Jefferson had several skills. Which of these was not one of his skills? A, speaking multiple languages, B, inventing gadgets, or C, competing in boxing? C, competing in boxing. That is correct. C, competing in boxing. Thomas Jefferson was a brilliant man who studied many subjects, archeology, span architecture, astronomy, botany, geology, mathematics, medicine, meteorology, philosophy, and religion. He spoke four languages, English, French, Italian, and Latin, and invented a pasta roller, a gravity-powered clock, a revolving chair, and an early copy machine. What is that? It looks like Jello. Looks this, like, what ew. is that? Oh, it's not Jello. You don't want to eat this. Well, the key question for you, Hudson, have you ever wanted to be a Smurf? No. no Not I've even never. a little bit. Nope. Oh, okay. And three, two, one. Oh! oh what the heck? Oh, a little bit up your arms, too. Oh, that, feels, that feels good. Does it? It feels amazing. <laughs> How you feeling, man? It actually feels good. At this point, I'm not going to survive. No, put your fingers in there. Turn it into Play-Doh or something. Oh, what? Okay, I'm going <laughs> Next question is for Hudson. Question number three. In 1776, Jefferson was a delegate for the Second Continental Congress and was assigned to write the first draft of what now famous document? A, Declaration of Independence, B, Bill of Rights, or C, United Nations Charter? A, Declaration of Independence. That is correct. The answer is the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson was assigned to write the first draft of the Declaration of Independence. 
He was chosen because he could write clearly in a way that inspired people. The draft went through several edits after he wrote it, and the Declaration of Independence was approved on July 4th, 1776. We still celebrate it today. Did you brush your teeth today? Oh, um, well, I was in a rush, so probably not. <laughs> we'll talk about that after. I think you should try some of this fish, eggs, and a tube oh, toothpaste. Oh, that is disgusting. <gasps> oh, 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 look how gross that is. Take a, take a little smell. Oh, that is terrible. Is it really that Ow, bad? That is terrible. <laughs> it can't be that bad. It is bad. Oh, Woo. it's not bad at all. Oh. Just get down and give it to him. No, wait, 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 wait. Give it to Tell him. Tell my mom I love her. <laughs> mom, Antonio loves you. <laughs> oh. Oh. A little in your hair? No, 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 please. Yes. No hair, no hair, no hair. Oh. What is Ew. This is so <laughs> gross. <laughs> Oh, do people eat this? Get the whole tube in there. Oh my gosh, uh, I spill it, I spill it. Oh, oh my gosh, ew. Oh my gosh. Ew. We're all suffering right now. <laughs> Except oh, for me, yes. I'm rejoicing. My dad would love this because he loves fish. Ew. <laughs> Next question is for Antonio. Question number four. Jefferson became president in 1801 after an intense election. He soon doubled the size of the United States with which deal? A, California Purchase, B, Louisiana Purchase, or C, Alaska Purchase? B, Louisiana Purchase. Dang it. Oh, that was correct. The answer is the Louisiana Purchase. In 1803, France offered to sell the entire Louisiana Territory, which included land from what is now 15 states to the United States. President Jefferson accepted the deal for $15 million, about four cents per acre, and added 828,000 square miles to America. Uh, you like pickles? Well, no, I don't like eating them, but they smell good. Do you like being in a pickle? Maybe. I kind of like the smell of them. Then have you accepted your fate at the hands of the pickle juice spray? Hey, what? Oh! Uh. Maybe you should Can do some I have more, some right? a little bit? No, why would you want pickle juice spray in your That's fish? That's not eggs? that bad. Oh yeah, you would do this. Oh, oh no. That's not that bad. It's, it's not? It. No, it's not. Well, how about a couple pickles for you to <gasps> crunch in there too? What's that sound? What is that? That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, you each get a chance to answer a question about America that was not in your Thomas Jefferson digital magazine, but there's a twist. You'll be blindfolded for your question and mess. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one. What is the official motto of the United States? A, God bless the USA. B, honesty is the best policy. Or C, in God we trust. In God we trust. That is correct, in God we trust. The words, in God we trust, highlights the important role that faith has played in American history. During the Civil War, some currency in the Northern states featured the phrase. In the 1950s, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed laws making it the official motto of the United States and requiring that it be printed on all American money. No! Wait, no, 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 oh, please. Oh, wow. Please, please, no, please, I don't, I hate words. Ah! <laughs> Oh, are they crawling so up your body? No. Oh, do you hear them? Oh. No, 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 no. I hope they don't bite. Oh my gosh, are they alive or are they dead? They're alive, most of them at least. <laughs> oh, <that's>, yes. <laughs> oh. Mom, help me. Your mom's running away. She doesn't want to help you from oh, that Oh, the mess. spell's even worse than clever. Patriot Pop Quiz question number two. What is the national bird of the United States? A, bald eagle. B, turkey, or C, pigeon? A, bald eagle. That is correct, the bald eagle. <laughs> Congress approved the Great Seal of the United States on June 20th, 1782, which features a bald eagle holding 13 arrows and an olive branch with 13 leaves. The eagle on the seal made it a national symbol. One of the seal's designers, William Barton, later wrote that the eagle displayed is the symbol of supreme power and authority. Hudson, you can't see what mess you're getting. Are you scared? Eh, a little nervous. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh no. Yes! What did I get? I think there's some kind of worm, but I'm not sure. 
Oh. Oh. Look at the oh. oh, there's a lot in here. I'm sorry. Not really, but kinda. Oh, I know. Oh. They don't want to yes. come out of the. No. <laughs> yes. These worms are fighting me here. Oh, she knows some worms. Oh, ew. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, there's so many of them. Let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. <gasps> it wasn't worms. <laughs> it's cereal or whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> what is that? It's a meatball. Oh, it's spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs and dried oatmeal. Now back to Thomas Jefferson. Next question is for Hudson. As president, Jefferson did make mistakes. Which of the following was considered his biggest mistake? A, he served two terms. B, he signed the Embargo Act. Or C, he argued with John Adams. Signed the Embargo Act. That is correct. No! The answer is he signed the Embargo Act. In 1807, Jefferson signed the Embargo Act to end trade with all of Europe. This was in response to Britain and France attacking American ships on the high seas and kidnapping American sailors. Jefferson hoped this would pressure both countries to respect the United States. Instead, the Embargo Act destroyed much of the U.S. economy. Do you like duck eggs? Duck eggs? Uh, I guess so. Take a smell, see what he's getting in his bowl. <laughs> And oh, look how je oh, it's like jelly. Oh, no, no, no. Dry. Oh, oh, yes. No, 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 no. Stay no, no. right there. <laughs> Ew. Oh, get up. Get up. Ew. Oh, no. Oh. No. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Keep those hands in the bowl. Oh. You'll lose a point. Oh. That is one ugly duckling. I can tell you that. Oh. Ew. Oh. <laughs> It actually feels kind of satisfying. <laughs> what? Next question is for Antonio. During his first term as president, Jefferson founded the U.S. Military Academy. He also sent the Navy to defeat who near North Africa? A, German Navy, B, Barbary Pirates, or C, King George III? A, German Pirates? That is actually incorrect. Oh. Let's see if Hudson can steal it. During his first term as president, Jefferson founded the U.S. Military Academy. He also sent the Navy to defeat who near North Africa? A, German Navy, B, Barbary Pirates, or C, King George III? B, Barbary Pirates. That is correct. Oh no. Before Jefferson was president, Barbary Pirates would attack American ships and demand payment for safe passage in North Africa. During his first term as president, Jefferson sent a naval expedition to defeat these Barbary Pirates. The expedition was a success, and other countries began to respect the United States more. Okay, look. Do you like mystery? I don't love it. You love mystery. It's so colorful. Do you think these mystery. are real eggs or fake eggs? Fake eggs. Like, fake? Like, no. You're confident. Mm -hmm. So confident you want it in your hair. Not really. <laughs> Do the whole thing. It's a glitter. Oh, it's glitter. not in my hair. You sure? No, please not. Do it in his hair. Okay, we'll be nice. Oh, oh, you oh. are lucky that that is not in your hair. Oh, oh. Ew. that's not that bad. Here's a little color for oh, you too. Oh. oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it's like a pinata and an egg. You got duck eggs. You got fish eggs. You have chicken eggs. What's next? Hope oh, nothing more. Nothing more. <laughs> Question number seven goes to Hudson. Jefferson died on the 50th anniversary of which event? A, Declaration of Independence, B, the Civil War, or C, American Revolution victory? A, Declaration of Independence. That is oh, correct. No. The answer is the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson died on July 4th, 1826 in his Virginian home, exactly 50 years to the day after the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. Jefferson was 83 years old. His rival, fellow founding father, and close friend, John Adams, died the same exact day. Some good old fashioned escargot. No, please, please, please. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Or in layman's terms, snails. I don't Too wanna, bad. I don't wanna, please. You don't like snails? Not anymore. Don't you like Gary from SpongeBob? Gary? I mean, he is pretty cool, I mean. Yeah, see, he meows. Okay, no, 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 no. You sure? I'll give you ten dollars if you don't give it, if you don't do it. Ten dollars? I live in California. Make it that 20. doesn't pay for anything. Make it twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, this one's still moving. Oh. 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 What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Yeah, they're your friends. What's up, Gary? Yeah. What's up, Gary number two? Yeah, let's put one on your shoulder. Give you a nice little friend up here. Oh, what's up, man? Say all the, <laughs> say all the prayers that you've ever That I don't even know what that oh. liquid is. Oh. Too much Gary's. Oh. Too many Gary's? Do them all. No, oh. what's with the other one? Just more. No, no, no. Should we give him more? Yeah, no, 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 no. Give me some juice. Oh, you knocked your friend off your shoulder. Oh, Gary! <laughs> Somebody chief Gary! Gary! Well, dump the rest in anyway. It's a punishment. No. Should I? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 Please, please, please. Oh! oh. <laughs> yes. So much stairs. Uh. What's up, Gary? So what'd you oh. name all of them? I found Gary. Oh, hey. that one's Gary? Yeah, can you put it on my shoulder? Okay. <laughs> Gary. Your wish is my command. Aw, oh, Gary makes me oh, feel happy. Oh, look at your shirt now. Now it's time for the final question. And this is an important one. Whoever gets this question wrong gets a pie in the face. Yes. But there's another twist. You must hit the buzzer first in order to answer the question. Understood? Understood. Final question. Thomas Jefferson opposed strengthening the federal government during his time. Which new political party did Jefferson help found? Oops. Uh. I think you hit it first. <laughs> I think I did. The Democratic Republican Party. That's correct. The Democratic <laughs> Republican Party. When Jefferson was Secretary of State, he and his friend James Madison formed the Democratic Republican Party to oppose the policies of fellow founding father Alexander Hamilton and his Federalist Party. The Democratic Republican Party was very successful and became the dominant political party in early American history. It's pie time. Oh. Do you like whipped cream? Uh, sure. Can you give them both cans? Both cans? Both cans. If you really insist, I just might have to. Oh. So yeah, I think that's enough. That's a lot of sugar, right? Nah. No. Fine. I don't think this can has enough in it. Maybe we should get another can. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, it's looking good, isn't it? Oh, I would say that's enough, but Gary has to eat too. Let's make sure there's enough whipped cream for your snack. Is there enough for me? Enough for you. That's all you get. Let's make it nice and strawberry-like. It's all about being optimistic, you know? It's pie time. Can I get a countdown, please? Five, four, four. Three, two, two one. one. Oh! Oh, it's so good. Where did Gary? Where did Gary go? <laughs> Gary's covered in whipped cream. <laughs> Here's what we learned. Thomas Jefferson was a founding father and served as third president of the United States. He was a Renaissance man with many talents and helped write the Declaration of Independence. Jefferson believed that expanding the country would serve America well. He negotiated the Louisiana Purchase, doubling the size of the U.S. during his time as president. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is... Hudson! On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? We had the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for playing with us, for being such great sports. Both of you, well, all three of you, including Gary, are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now, shake hands. It's time. Oh. Oh, well, how about a high five at least? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And I'll give a high five to Gary. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.